Bar charts are one of the most effective ways of visualizing data. They are especially effective when you have numerical data that nicely splits into different categories. This video is broken up into two parts. In the first part, we will look at source data. And in the second, we will convert this data into a bar chart and see how this helps to better understand our data. So, let's talk data. The RMS Titanic was a British passenger liner that sank in the Atlantic Ocean in the early hours of 1912 after colliding with an iceberg. More than 1,500 of the 2,224 passengers died, making it one of the deadliest commercial disasters in recent times. We have here a randomly drawn sample of 891 passengers from that fatal journey. Using this data, let us try to visually answer these questions. How many male and female passengers were there in the sample list? How many male and female passengers survived? How many did not? What percentage of the male and female passengers survived? What percentage did not? Alright, so now uh, here we are. I've logged into Tableau and now I'm going to connect to my uh, Excel file and we drag the file here and we can view the data. So the fields that uh, we are interested in at the moment are the survived field, which tells us whether the passenger survived or not, so one being uh, survival. Uh, we are interested in the gender or the sex, which is male and female. So the, uh, we will go to the and create a new worksheet and try to find out how many male and female passengers were there in the list. And for that we draw a uh, drag and drop uh, sex on rows and the number of columns. So here's our first bar chart. Uh, so of course you can see you've got all the details out here. It's a horizontal bar chart. We could make it vertical, but I think horizontal makes more sense. It's easier to read for this, for just these two columns. Uh, but uh, it would be nice to visually see the difference between the female and male uh, statistics. So for that we can do as follows. Now you can see the demarcation, but I'm going to be a bit more, I mean, cater to stereotypes out here. Uh, so let's choose this color palette and make a male a blue and make a female a pink. So now I want to reduce some of the clutter. So we have the number of records. We have got so many ticks and uh, uh, a lot of numbers along the x-axis, but I want to reduce that clutter. So what we'll do is we'll just have a label at the top of a bar as follows. And so now we could go easily and remove this or hide this header. Similarly, we have a legend on the right. So what we could do is we could knock off uh, this uh, out here and knock off this title. So if you've got a very bare bones graph, which is fine. Uh, so at the moment, uh, we have, we know how many male and female passengers were there uh, in the sample data, but we do not have uh, the details of how many survived. So for that, I'm going to create another worksheet. So let's duplicate this worksheet and uh, let's see how we can do this. So uh, the survived uh, uh, field has a zero and one. So right now it's uh, Tableau's treating it as a measure. So let's move it into a dimension. So it has a value of zero and one, as I said before. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to, let's put it here and see what happens. Uh, so as you can see, uh, we've got a totally different dimension added to color, which is survival. And earlier we had gender. So that's not looking too good because I want to maintain uh, the gender uh, colors, which was pink and blue, as and further break that down into whether that particular gender, uh, the survival uh, rate among that gender, you see. So I want to use the gender. But first things first, I'm not happy with the zero and one for survival. So let's change that. And for that, we'll create a calculated field as follows. And we need yet one more calculated field where we bring this, merge this into the gender. So basically, we want the survival rate amongst uh, gender. So I'm going to call it a field called uh, survival rate. And I'm just going to have a concatenation of the uh, gender field and the survive text. So it'll, it'll be clear in a moment uh, as to how this pans out. 
Oh, uh, great. Now let's add this uh, onto the color. Okay, so again, we can see this demarcation. So what's interesting is look at the legend, because that's, that's kind of much more meaningful. So now what we could do is we could go back to the color palette and uh, see if we could assign meaningful colors to these legends and keeping bearing in mind the colors we assigned in the previous uh, visualization. So I'm going to have a darker uh, color for the deaths than the survivals. Uh, yeah, and let's just change that once again. Okay, so let's see how this looks. All right, so this, as you can see, we are maintaining uh, the color uh, from the previous visualization, and yet this is more meaningful, and we are conveying the survival rate also. I'm not happy with this color. I can't uh, really see the text on it. So let's see if you can add a different shade of blue. So we've got the blue palette out here. And let's play around a bit. Okay, much better. Again, this is color something which is pretty relative. So you might totally disagree with my color palette, but feel free to use what works. Right. So now we can see in terms of numbers, the, the numbers who survived and did not, unfortunately. But I want... Uh, to take this to one more level, so I want the percentages of survivals among uh, gender. Okay, so we do not get get that in this graph, so we need to calculate it, but let's see if we can do it uh, in, a, in another graph or visualization. And for that, we need to calculate our total as a percentage. So let's do it here uh, in this label section. So I can make it as a percentage of total. Now the important thing is, whether, but I can see that the numbers, percentages are not adding to 100 across. So I'm going to make sure that my percentages are calculated across in this case. So I'm going to do it across the table. So that's great. Okay. So they're adding up to 100, as you can see. Uh, but again, uh, if both uh, uh, bars are adding up to 100, they should be equal in length. But that's not happening. And in order to do that, I need to go and change, do the same thing in the pill in the columns area. So I could just drag and drop this pill there. But let me just do it once again. So first, we would make it a percentage of total and then we do it across. Okay, so now we'll see, that's great. So now you're seeing the, the bars are of the same length and we are nicely seeing the breakup. Again, I'm not too happy with, uh, so again, uh, the whole idea of uh, the amount of uh, ink you have on your visualizations, I want to minimize that. So I'm just going to make this, uh, uh, convert the percentages to an integer rather than have any places of decimal. So let's make that a zero out here. Okay, that's better in my opinion. Right, so now we've got our three uh, visualizations. So let us end this discussion by seeing how they stack up on a dashboard, the females. Okay, so as you can see, we have, thanks to these simple visualizations, drawn quite a few conclusions from this data. And also we have used three dimensions, if you see. So we have got used the x-axis to represent the quantity, which was the, the number or the percentage. We have used the y-axis to represent gender. And we have used the, another dimension to represent, which is color, to represent, uh, for example, the breakup between this, I mean, or the survival rate. So quite interesting there. So I hope you like this video. Thank you.